hello guys uh, welcome back uh, so today we are going to discuss one of the very important concept yes that is vertical pipes fittings calculation techniques actually the experienced MEP quantity service also they make uh, some mistake during the uh, the measurement time so in this session we are going to discuss very uh, deeply for this uh, fitting related uh, very important concept for the uh, drainage and plumbing system so now i am going to take uh, one of the drawing so this is uh, the drainage system uh, one of the uh, building floor so this is a high one of the high rise building so actually we know very well uh, this uh, most of the 90 percentage of the vertical pipes uh, it's going through the shaft so this is first very important concept we have to understand so shaft mean you can see here each and every drawing uh, you can see the shaft mean they make some uh, the indication uh, the notation like this so this is one of the shaft all right guys so before continue this session uh, this is a quick update we recently launched a new MEP quantity serving full course so just visit our official website managingqs.com and you can explore more the course content and other related information so just visit and explore so inside the shaft you can see there's a uh, uh, three vertical pipes are running okay same like this uh, you can see here some other uh, places also so this is another types of shaft uh, you can see here so this is the uh, block work or the uh, concrete wall so the shaft mean uh, you can see there is a notation here so this is a look like a shaft so inside inside the shaft uh, you can see there is a five uh, vertical pipes are running so this is first concept for the vertical pipe now I am going to uh, visualize one of the 3D model to understand some of a uh, basic idea regarding the vertical uh, pipes and uh, other related fittings. So you can see here there is uh, one of the building uh, drainage system pipe uh, pipeline work. So uh, we, can, we have the two types of the pipes are here. So the first one is uh, you can see there is uh, horizontal pipes. So there is uh, no more any confusion here. So we can easily uh, take the quantities uh, from the uh, floor plan. Okay. So the another very important uh, the pipe setup is the vertical pipe. So you can see the vertical mean uh, this is the vertical uh, pipe. So there is a lots of uh, vertical pipes are here. Right. Our main concept here, uh, what about the fittings uh, we are going to use for this vertical pipe. So you can see lots of fittings are, uh, you can see here. So these are the, uh, these are the fittings. Actually uh, in the drainage system for the big pipes, okay. So we use uh, some, these types of Y branches. So we have to aware for these uh, fittings and uh, other accessories. So you can see uh, there is a, a shaft. So inside the shaft, uh, there is uh, three, there are the three pipes. So uh, it's running, okay. First one, uh, second one and third one. And also you can see here, uh, there is a uh, very important notation, uh, 160 diameter uh, waste pipe and soil pipe so there's a two pipes they indicate the blue color is the waste pipe and the uh, purple color is the soil pipe and also you can see 50 diameter vent pipe so uh, another pipe also attached here so in this pipeline system uh, you can see here the waste pipe is coming uh, through way and connect with this uh, vertical uh, waste pipe and also same concept this uh, soil pipe it's coming uh, through the shaft it's connected to the uh, so soil pipe vertical soil pipe and also another item is vent pipe so it's connect uh, to vent pipe okay and also very important another our main concern and concept is the accessories so for this complex piping system what about the accessories all right so uh, before discuss uh, this uh, accessories uh, just i am going to show some other uh, very important uh, fittings identification idea so first off you can see here there is a uh, 100 diameter triple socket t junction okay triple socket one uh, two three so, okay there's a uh, three ways are available so that's why we call as a triple socket t junction the second one is 100 diameter double socket t junction so there's only two way to fix okay so that's why we call as the double uh, here we can fix into three ways so that's why we call as a triple 
so that's the main different and also you should know the fittings uh, the real names the second one is you can see uh, 45 degree triple socket reducing y branch okay the 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 general name is y branch so we use uh, the very important terming here triple socket okay triple mean there's a three ways to fix the pipe triple socket reducing reducing the another term so what is reducing the reducing mean you can see here there's a uh, different types of diameters we can fix uh, in this uh, fittings so this uh, we can say 160 diameter but this one is 100 diameter so various diameters are available so that's why we call as the reducing y branch and the second one is the this is a 45 degree uh, triple socket y branch so there is no more any reducing term here okay because this all the fixing uh, this way is the same we can say as a hundred diameter so this is also hundred diameter so this is also hundred diameter so both ways are the same diameter so that's why we call as a just a triple socket y branch okay so general name is the y branch but uh, we call especially uh, triple socket uh, y branch okay there's no more any reducing concept right for example uh, just i'm going to say uh, there's no more any uh, socket here so just uh, just only for the pipe so we can call as a 45 degree double socket so there's no more any trouble okay so based on the appearance we have to identify the name of this uh, fittings okay right so just you have to remember uh, this is uh, T junction okay uh, triple socket T junction this one is a double socket T junction and also I'm going to tell one of a very an another very important thing uh, so this one we can say uh, 100 uh, di 106 diameter for example okay 106 diameter so this one uh, we can say 100 diameter so various uh, diameters are here so that's why we can call as 100 diameter double reducing we have to put another name is here reducing reducing socket t junction okay or we can call like this uh, 100 diameter double socket reducing t uh, junction okay so same like this so here uh, 160 160 160 so that's why we don't uh, aware for this reducing because all are the same for example if this way is 100 diameter uh, this one is uh, 160 uh, this one is 160 mean we can call as a 100 diameter triple socket reducing t junction because uh, there is a uh, another different uh, diameters here so this is a basic first concept okay all right so in the drawing uh, you can see uh, in the shaft uh, there's a uh, three uh, vertical pipes are running the first concept is uh, before start any other fitting calculation for the vertical pipe inside the shaft you have to identify the diameters of the pipe okay so the first uh, these two pipe diameters are same uh, 160 diameter waste and soil power so this one's a waste this one is soil so these two pipes diameter is same 160 and also we can see the vent pipe this one is a 50 diameter but this one is the 100 diameter vent pipe so there's a three uh, two different uh, diameters okay so this one is the 160 this one is the 160 this one uh, 100 diameter so there's uh, two different uh, diameters so once you identify this diameter then you have to aware for the reducing fitting concept reducing mean we have previously discussed uh, there's a uh, various types of uh, the fittings uh, you can see here this y branch uh, mean uh, the reducing concept mean uh, there's a uh, various uh, diameters are involved so that's why so in the storming also in the shaft inside the shaft we connect this three pipes together so that's why uh, various uh, diameters but we connect together so we use some reducing fittings so this is the second very important idea once you get this idea then you can move forward what are the fittings we use so this is the third one third one mean uh, generally you can see here this main pipe it's coming through the shaft and connect with the vertical so in this connection in this connection point regularly we use for the uh, t 
T branches okay so T uh, triple socket T junction generally we use uh, triple socket T junction so in this roaming uh, you can see here it's uh, it's directly uh, it's coming through the shaft and it's connect to the vertical pipe so I will show in this vertical pipe here I will show like a 3d model here so this is our vertical pipe so this one uh, this is our horizontal pipe okay horizontal pipe it's coming like this okay it's connect like this so in this connection point we use okay we use this uh, this types of uh, three way socket t junction okay so this is our three way socket t junction okay so we use t junction like this so this is a real time picture okay so in our uh, presentation also we discuss uh, triple socket T junction so in this uh, joining area in this joining area we uh, just using for this triple socket T junction okay diameter we have to mention very clearly 160 diameter triple socket T junction same concept we same uh, item same uh, fitting we use in this pipe also the connection point here okay here same uh, we use 160 triple socket T junction so there's no more any comp uh, complicated things but what about this point uh, this pipe to this pipe so you can see inside uh, there's a there's a pipe connection so i will show i will draw here all right so, uh, you can uh, imagine like this uh, this is uh, our 160 pipe okay and also this one our 100 uh, diameter pipe okay that's right so there's a two pipe it's going through the shaft uh, by vertically so this one is the 160 this one is a 100 diameter pipe so you just imagine like this but you can see here there is a connection between 160 and 100 diameter so this is the connection the connection it's going like this okay uh, the connection it's going like this so this is a vent pipe this is a waste pipe okay so just like this so what about our fittings so we use like this uh, we use these types of y branch here so we already discussed the name uh, previously so you can see this is a type of y branch the name is uh, we call as you can see 45 degree triple socket reducing y branch so reducing mean uh, we already discussed 160 here this one is 100 so that's why uh, two different uh, diameter so that's why we call as the reducing so 45 degree three way socket reducing y branch the name is uh, like this so same concept we use another the same fitting like this way okay like this way so this is two different fittings you can see here this is also one fitting uh, this one is one this one is a two so the f the first one is we can call as uh, there's no more any reducing concept because this all are the hundred diameters so there's no more any reducing concept here is only the reducing concept there is a 160 this one is a 100 so uh, this is the basic idea so we can call as the name here 45 degree okay three way socket you can see triple socket we are not go going to take a reducing okay uh, so triple socket 45 degree triple socket y branch so this name is and this one is 45 degree triple socket reducing y branch so there is a two different y branches we connect inside so same concept we applicable here also so uh, based on this shaft uh, we have six numbers of fittings so in this point uh, in this point uh, these two points uh, we use a triple socket t junction okay and uh, this one 45 degree uh, triple socket reducing y branch and this point we use 45 degree triple socket only y branch there's no more any uh, triple uh, reducing branch here okay only for the y branch and same concept this point uh, 45 degree triple socket y branch uh, in this point uh, 45 degree triple socket reducing y branch so if you put any other reducing y branch you sh we have to mention the diameter also 160 to 100 something and uh, in this point uh, 45 degree uh, triple socket y branch mean we can easily mention 100 diameter so we can put some uh, bracketly uh, for this diameter also so this is uh, there is a six main fittings uh, we connect inside the shaft so you have to know this uh, very clear idea uh, before start any other quantity takeoff so 
uh, this is only uh, for the shaft so there's a uh, lots of ideas available uh, inside the entire uh, uh, training system drawing so in our courses also we discuss many things uh, many idea many strategies so uh, just visit our official website uh, managingqs.com and explore more our course related uh, contents and other uh, related uh, ideas